Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to hop in layout and try to figure out how a layout master creates drawings. So I put it that way because uh, I got a pretty good handle on SketchUp and I've made more than a few sets of construction drawings and assembly drawings through layout, but I've never considered what I do in layout to be masterful. Fortunately, uh, one of the gentlemen I was lucky enough to get to work with was Eric Sargent. Uh, and he made not only several videos on this channel, but he made some training materials that are still available on SketchUp Campus. One of the, well, actually three of the courses he made were pertaining to layout. And I wanted to look through some of his finished documentation, uh, this, this garage remodel in particular, and just go through and look at the things that he did in layout that kind of make his drawings just a step above something that I would put together. Hopefully I can learn something through that and uh, you guys can too. I'll also link to the course that this, this is part of so you could actually take the whole thing and see exactly how Eric did what he did. Let's hop in. All right, so like I was saying, we're gonna take a look at these finished drawings. This is an 11 page document. Um, and I just wanted to look at some things. This is not going to be so much how do I pull models into layout or how do I use the tool to put in dimensions, that kind of thing. That, that sort of stuff we have other videos on. Uh, you can search our channel for that sort of thing. If you search for uh, Let's Talk Layout or Beyond Desktop videos, you'll find those. Um, what I wanted to look at was more about composition and how the tool is used to create an exciting uh, image. So first things first, here right on the cover, um, you can see this is a black and white image. It does not have a whole lot of colors in here or anything. Well, there's no colors in here other than the logo, but it still stands out. And one of the things that happened here that, that Eric did very intentionally was this edge he carried all the way around. You see that we have a, a, a less thick edge going in back outlining the fence, but the main piece here, which is converting this two car garage into like a mixed use uh, recreational building in the backyard kind of thing, uh, you can see this is what's called out. That heavy line around the outside calls attention to that. Uh, the details on the inside are almost washed out, almost light. You just kind of fade into gray, but you know this is what this, this whole document's going to be about. So if we skip through a couple, or, or just click through a few things here. Here, again, this is a simple, oops, I, uh, I goofed this up. This was, this was on me. Um, I did mess with the... <laughs> The numbers there. Sorry, Eric, if you're watching. Um, but here's a just quick table of contents. And it's not just a table of contents. Again, here's an image of the project. And you see the image of the project is it's x-ray, so I can actually see into the model. Uh, it has shadows on here. Again, not a lot of colors. There's, there's no colors in here. But again, this is an interesting page to look at. So it's a short document. The, the table of contents, helpful. Yeah, but is this like essential? Maybe not on a document this size, but with this page, with this, this additional view being put on here, it's engaging. When I look at this document, I'm like, wow, that's kind of cool. That is cool. I like this. I like the shadows that are dropping down. I like the trees. Definitely cool. So not even, not even going into what the model itself is, but just how it's presented in that unique x-ray light edge style. The other thing you notice is there's not black edges on here. These are all kind of gray edges. So a very intentional style shows there as well. Let's keep moving through. So there's an inspiration page. And again, leveraging what layout can do. Uh, here's an overview of the, the project that's being uh, considered. But then because layout can pull in anything, any kind of document that we want, we can, he has these images pulled in here and they're just cropped to kind of fit together in a pleasing way. But the fact that he was able to do that just let's grab some images and pull them in and show where the inspiration came from. A cool way to use layout that goes beyond just pulling in model files and then putting dimensions or text over top of them. So that's just a kind of a, this is a cherry on top kind of page. This is a bonus. Now let's hop into the actual plan. So we start with a site plan. The site plan is pretty simple. Um, I have things like the setback and the boundary of the, the property line the existing houses over here, some very simple dimensions. I have seen and I have made 
documents for constructions that have so many dimensions on them that have like three, four layers deep of stacking dimensions, that's not necessary. In this case, how far is it from the house to the concrete to the building? How wide is the building? How tall is the building? How close is it to the property line? That's it. That's all that really needed to be here. Same with the text. The text is understated. It's simple. Um, just shows what's going on here. Uh, and then some existing conditions are called out. The only color in here is the important piece, which is the property line, this unique dot, dot, dash style, and that's called out. The thing that gets me about this particular layout though, and this, this is so simple yet so effective that just makes this different, is that shadow, right? Look at that shadow that's in here. It's intentionally going in, in the same direction. So I see, I know there's a fence here, even though I can't see the fence because I see the shadow of it. Things like that, can take your, again, I'm not, I'm gonna make fun of myself. I'm not gonna pick on your guys' output, but my ho-hum line drawings that I would create and make it just a, another level. All right, let's keep going. Um, in here, we have some existing conditions. This is a breakdown of what already exists. Uh, and you can see that one of the cool things in here is the different types of, of hatching that he put on here. So for the dashed hatching, that's stuff that's going to go away altogether. The, the cross pattern like this, the washer dryer, that's going to get relocated. It's going to go somewhere else. And then what's something that's brand new is gray. So again, with very little information on here, he was able to convey that. And carry through from before, we have this, here's the, the property line. Property line is not even called out here, but because he exclusively used this dot dot dash pattern, we know that this is the same property line we saw on the previous page. So just concise use of information that really makes this all happen kind of kind of automatically, very quickly and easy. Keep going through. All right, so again, I've I'm just gonna call out uh, dimensions. Very simple dimensions. Uh, it's not four or five strings deep. I just have just the essential dimensions, uh, vertical dimensions to the windows and door, horizontal dimensions across here, and then I got a quick overall dimension. That's it, that's all that's on here. I don't need a whole bunch more. Same thing here. So from the existing deck over, width of the building, over to the other side, it's, it's just simple. And everything here is to scale too. I know people don't use scales as much as they used to because we use a lot more 3D models, which is great. But the fact is sometimes you still gotta take something out and scale it and everything here is set to a standard scale, which is great. Again, the model itself is almost in the background. See how light these lines are, how, how simple that style is, and the things that have attention called to them are all here hatched. They stand out because I'm gonna be cutting new holes in here, new, new doors and windows, skylights. That's the important part of this model, not the existing. And that's just done so well by intentionally using line weights and hatching. Moving on. Um, this is the, the extra elevation. This shows a little bit more detail. Um, not, not so much what's going to get changed, but how it will look in the end. So again, very simple stuff. A little more information, a little more edges, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, very clean looking. Um, if we look at the plan, same thing. Here, here's our property line again. Don't have to tell me. And then here's what the inside's going to look like. Again, just kept it easy. You notice that there's no dimensions on here because they're not necessary for what is being shown right here. I personally, and again, I'm picking on me, I like to go in and I like to dimension everything all the time. I, I put in way too many dimensions. I know I do. I'm always afraid somebody's not gonna know where dimension is or have to go to another page for dimension. Uh, I need to get over that because this looks tight. This looks very nice. And then also tucked in here, we have a couple of uh, profiles, or, or, or I'm sorry, interior views. Um, these are, they're showing up kind of kind of janky because they are set to low quality in the model so that the layout file operates as quick as possible. But when this was printed out, the actual PDF will have very clean lines. Again, a masterful move of layout is of course to save your resources in the model. I know what this looks like because I made the model. I don't have to see this in all of its beautiful unbroken line edge glory because I know what it's gonna look like. But layout runs quicker if I have low quality set for screen rendering. Uh, same thing here, this is the second floor, this is up on the loft, 
just showing what that's going to look like the loft so i have a couple of views of in the loft and the view from above and then of course my layout showing where all the pieces are interior sections i love i i don't know why this one in particular gets me i don't know if it's the this this solid band of ground here or if it's just that there's four on the page and that symmetry makes me happy but here i have section a b c and d and they're again just clean only the dimensions that i need the the background edges the model itself super light edges so they're they're in the background they're not important the things that are actually getting cut get this heavier weight so i can see where it's cutting through just a great way to show that and then this last page was just a straight up bonus like this is not a necessary thing at all but look at this he came through here and basically did an exploded view this isometric view where we pulled up any of the surfaces that are going to exist so this is inside the the garage remodel this is the back patio then here we have the loft in front and these are all the surfaces that are going to get some sort of materials on them and they're listed out with all here's a here's a quick table that was created showing the dimensions of each section again like i said this is this is definitely bonus right this is adding additional stuff to it but what a great way to visualize here i have an isometric model and here i just have probably just copied and pasted into a new group uh, and i can actually see all those pieces there and then just for fun let's throw some dimensions on there too also keeping those nice and clean and easily readable so again a quick run through this this set of drawings i will link to this model or to this class as well so you can go take it on uh, campus and and try this out for yourself I'm like I said I am trying to learning is an, an all the all the time for everything right I am trying to get better about my layout drawings and I'm doing that by looking at some content that I really appreciate and respect and I just going through this came up with four or five tricks not tricks uh, uh, tips as to how best convey a SketchUp model in layout. So I'm learning, I'm, I'm getting better. Uh, I'm having create, well, I'm saying I am. I haven't actually showed anything yet, but honestly, it's in here somewhere. Uh, hopefully that got you some ideas too. And if you are interested in taking this course and going through step-by-step -step to see how this was created, check the link out in the description down below. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. What do you think makes a good construction drawing? How do you take construction drawings and go to the next level so they stand out from the, the standard that you see all the time? Or better than that, do you have an idea that you think would make a good video? Let us know any of that down in the comments below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when showing something you want to see. Thank you.